doing? What are you gonna do with that thing? I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and Symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the Symbiote. How? By killing the host. Please, save my boy. what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these things. It's okay, they're gone. If you weren't here, I don't even want to think about it. 
Those civilians are in trouble. I'm coming! There's the bus. We gotta save those people from the symbiotes. Stay calm, everyone! I can handle this! Anyone help? Somebody! This area is not safe. If you don't have a place to go, feast is open to anyone. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Thank you. Miles, we have to talk. No kidding. There are nests popping up everywhere. Sending you coordinates now. Got it. Watch yourself out there, man. This is something else. Harry, I'll find you, buddy. I'll find you! Somewhere. That suit's not an alien, is it? Time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. <laughs> it looks good. <sighs> what happened, man? Harry got the meteorite. I, uh... I couldn't stop him. Connor said we can't save him, so we have... I can't lose him, Miles. I can't do this again. I saw me when I was in your head. It's not your fault, Pete. She wanted to save you, to save all of us. She never thought about herself, even when she was struggling to breathe. If May, my dad, if they were here, they would want us to stop thinking about them. They'd want us to help people. To fight. Harry's still in there. And we're gonna fight like hell to get him back. Call the play, coach. Let's split up. Cover more ground. You find the meteorite, I'll clear that nest out. You got it, Spider-Man. Where's that boy? 
voice coming from? I can't let them get to the heart. when you finish up. Stay focused, Pete. Turn into symbiotes. You are safe here. Everyone you love is safe here. My head. I have to find a way out. Why would you leave? We are here. You can be too. You. Peter. Us. This isn't where I belong, Harry. Neither do you. Come on, Miles! Come on! Let us heal you. Bring us Peter. It's not the way, Harry! You know that! Haley? What are you showing me? in trouble. Pete, I saw the meteorite. It's under the Harlem subway station, next to the bridge. Heading there now! Wait for me though, man. Harry, he's after you. I have to go help Haley, but just wait, all right? Whoa, whoa, back up! What happened? I got sucked into the high pine. I saw this vision of the meteorite underground, but I've got a bad feeling. You think Harry's there? I'm serious, Pete. Just give me ten minutes. You cannot do this alone. Right. Call me when you're done. Sorry, Miles, but I can't waste any time. Miles has to be right. That's where the meteorite is. Just have to clear out this bridge. Everyone stay in your cars. I won't let them hurt you. Harry! Venom! I know you're here! Yes! I'm here, buddy! I know! Just hang on! I'm coming! Uh. 
Out of the subway tunnel! The meteorite has to be underground! Spend them! Please talk to me! I have to get underground, but I can't leave these people behind! Everything all good with Haley? Not yet, but you still owe me a few more minutes. Hang tight! Haley! No! What are you doing here? I was... I was trying to save you. You're incredible. I, I like you so much, and I think you like me. Do you want to go out? On a date? Is that a yes? <laughs> well, it's a date then. After all this is over. Hey, buddy. I talked to Dr. Connors. He says you're too far gone, but I know that's not true. Harry, I messed up. It was terrible to you. Your dream, our dream, healing the world. I'm sorry. Peter, we are here. I'm here. Are you finally ready? Harry, I can't. <sighs> I want to help you, Harry! Oh no. Spider-Man, who are you? Did you go down there? You were right. It has to be here. He has to... I'm sorry, I couldn't... I know. 
know, man. I'll try to find a way inside. It's gonna be okay! Everyone's gonna be okay! Seeing a rock. No? Hold on. I'm nearly to you. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. Harry, what are you? We are healed. Finally free. I need to meet it by May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. Time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home. Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. All those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet Goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating Goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. 
cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? <laughs> Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are it you won't ready? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <sighs> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Oh, come on, bro. We're the spider team. <sighs> Don't anyone forget it? Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. Story, Watson. What was that? Dead end? No. Whoever dropped these flares. I hope they made it out.
meteorites connected to the rest of the hive. Just a normal rock. I can also end the world. Your plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry! Harry! Yeah. <laughs> 
Watch over after your mom got sick! We couldn't feel like that. When you lost her, that day on the football field, I was there! Always have been! Till we got sick again. You abandoned us while we were fighting for our lives. I was trying to save you! You did feel like that to us. Dropping in. Not working. Stay calm. Take him out one at a time. Yeah. 
work. Heal the world with you! Not like this! The meteorite! You took it from us! Let Pete down. 
This is his dream, too. Sorry, Terry. Heard enough about this nightmare. I'm waking you up. Allie? 
need. No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, Pete. Together.
of you. some room. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I gotta try. is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive.
get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. <sighs> Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. Uh, I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure it's, it's a big city? I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always.
What do you want? The Spider-Men. You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruin my son. Good. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter. Hi. I hope you're hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. Some guy in Harlem, probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. Haley, this is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. What's up, New York? Welcome back, Dana Club. We did it. We survived the impossible. Drove back a friggin' alien invasion. And we did it together. As heroes. Spider-Man led the way, and every day New Yorkers rose to the challenge. Today I am so pleased to talk with one of those heroes. Author, journalist, and avid motorcyclist. Please welcome Mary Jane Watson. Thanks, Danica. Please call me MJ. MJ it is. 
So, I ate up your book about Simcaria in a single sitting. Thank you for giving this to the world. It's so important. I heard we're going to get even more of your words in the form of a new project. Can you tell us more about it? Happy to. I've been thinking a lot about what's really important. Nothing will make you rethink your life like a citywide alien invasion, right? Rereadable. And I realized how important the truth is. I started a podcast called The New Normal. I don't know where New York is headed, but I'm looking forward to finding out. With all of you out there, I want to be honest and report what's really happening in the city. Straight up, no exaggerations, no clickbait, you know? I know exactly what you mean. When you let that junk creep in, it takes over the truth, warps it into something else, like a, a, like a symbiote. Mary Jane Watson, everybody. Any last notes you'd like to leave us with? Stay safe out there. Oh, and if you have motorcycle insurance, make sure it includes a villain damage clause. I could feel the pain in your voice there. I'm working through it. Danica Hart and Mary Jane Watson, signing off.